Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this two-speed boat trailer winch. This two-way, two-speed manual ratcheting winch mounts to your truck or trailer to ease the loading of your ATV, your boat, and other heavy equipment. This is designed for use with a winch strap or a steel cable. As you can see, this already does include a strap that's 20 feet long and two inches wide. As we can also see here, there is a snap hook that is included. The hub diameter is 15 sixteenths of an inch. This is zinc plated for corrosion resistance. And the handle features a comfort grip to ensure secure, a secure hold on the handle. By the way, this handle is about 10 inches long. So there are three positions for this ratchet switch and currently I have it in the higher position and that is for pulling. And then I'm going to move it all the way down to the lower position here. And that lower position can be used for releasing. And then the middle position, let me line that up there, that is going to be for bo both pulling and releasing but it can only be used when unloaded. Now when the winch is loaded, you do want to make sure to hold the crank tightly if you want to change the switch position. And let me go ahead and move this uh, winch to the corner of my table here. So I have some um, clearance here to move the handle. I just kind of wanted to give you a demonstration of how this works. So I am going to move this back to the uh, low position. And as you can see, that is going to allow me to release the strap. And then moving that to the middle position, line that up there. That is going to allow free movement. So to release or to uh, pull that strap back in. So uh, the the gears are not, uh, that, that ratcheting is not engaged. I do want to point out though that when you pull this in this uh, neutral or freewheel position, if you have the handle attached, that handle is going to move whatever way um, you're pulling. So just be aware of that, that you will still need to um, uh, hold on to the handle. Now moving this to the uh, high position, that is going to now, now allow me to pull that in. And I currently have this on the high speed. And as I mentioned, this is a two speed winch. And uh, the high speed is, is engaged when you use this, high, this higher post and the, uh, the gear ratio is 12.2 to one. Now, if you wanna use the low gear or the low speed, you do have to loosen and remove the handle and move it to that lower post. Now, obviously you want it tight. And for our purposes here, I have it uh, loosely connected. So you do wanna make sure that you have everything tighten down before you use this. So now I have it here on the low gear or the low speed. And then I'm going to pull that in. So that's how you switch the that's how you switch the gears and I'm going to go ahead and move it back up on the high post here. And you just want to make sure that you have a a tool like a socket wrench. Um, or just a wrench on hand uh, so you're going to be able to move this handle from one post to the other. Now this winch is designed for pulling not lifting and the capacity is 2,500 pounds and the overall some overall measurements that I took earlier before our time together from one end to the other, not including the snap hook here, but just the winch itself from uh, the, uh, the widest points or the longest points, we are sitting right at about 10 inches long. And then the overall width at the widest point, we're sitting at about five and a half inches wide. 
And then at the tallest point, we're sitting right at about seven inches tall overall. The base, let me turn this over here so you can see that, is uh, seven and a half inches long by four inches wide. And you note the uh, bolt pattern there. You will need at least three sets of three eighths of an inch uh, bolts to, and, and locking nuts in a triangle pattern to fix the base on the surface that you decide to mount this to. This is SAE certified, and this does include an instruction sheet to uh, go over um, just some of the things that we uh, talked about together and some notes of caution as well. Basically just um, highlighting the proper way to use this. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.